538 now and uh, the total solar eclipse happens in six days. It is going to cross Texas and Texas said to have one of the longest times in totality. Totality simply is when the moon passes over the sun and completely blocks out its light. We'll see that moving over Mexico, a big portion of Texas. Now everyone in Texas will at least see a partial eclipse, but, but a big swath of North Texas will actually see a total eclipse. The closer you are to this what's called a center line, the longer the time you'll spend in totality for this eclipse that happens to be close to about four and a half minutes. So I've broken it down here a little bit more areas in Kaufman County, Southern Hunt County and Ellis County will actually see some of the longest times in totality with over four minutes. If you're in Dallas County, specifically downtown Dallas, closer to three minutes and 51 seconds, and it drastically changes if you go into Tarrant County, a big swath of it anywhere between one to two minutes. Denton County also seeing closer to about one minute of totality. This happens, by the way, between 140 and 144 in the afternoon. So again, everyone in Texas at least sees a partial eclipse. Dallas about three minutes 51 Fort Worth about two minutes 24 seconds. And as of now, it looks like we have a system coming in this weekend. If it's fast enough, it could clear out some of the cloud cover and I am excited about this because that means that we'll be in between systems. We'll still see some cloud cover on this day, but it looks like at least the rain will be out in time for the eclipse and some of the cloud cover. Well, we're just going to have to deal with it at this point and we'll take what we can get. Dia.